Imagine this. You're in the hospital recovering from gallbladder surgery. Would you rather your recovery room have a window view of trees or a view of a brick wall? Would it make a difference? The view out your window might make a difference. Researchers in Pennsylvania studying hospital records found that patients recovering in rooms with window views of trees spent far fewer days recovering in the hospital and needed far fewer strong pain medications than those patients viewing a brick wall. Why would the view out your window make such a big difference? Many people suggest this is evidence for the idea of biophilia, first described by naturalist E. O. Wilson. He defined biophilia as the innate tendency to focus on life and lifelike processes. I see biophilia every time someone enjoys watching a cat video on the internet or puts a vase of flowers on their desk at work. We are part of nature and nature is part of us. Researchers at Washington State University were able to support the findings from the gallbladder patient study by exploring exploring how exposure to plants might affect a person's pain tolerance. They did their study in a room decorated with potted plants. Control groups either sat in an empty room or in a room decorated with objects that were rated as similar in interest and beauty to the potted plants. The researchers asked study participants to place one hand in a bowl of ice water, then timed how long the participants were able to leave their hands in the freezing water. The longer in the ice, the greater the pain tolerance of the participant. Study participants in the room with the potted plants were much more likely to keep their hands in the freezing water for the maximum five minute limit than either of the two control rooms. As in the Pennsylvania hospital study, this suggests that exposure to plants and green spaces could change pain in humans, reducing the need for strong pain medications. Could doctors start prescribing green spaces as part of pain management strategies? A study performed at the University of Michigan asked participants to complete a series of brain puzzles before and after going on a walk, either in a park or down a busy city street. Results showed that going for a walk in nature helped reset participants' brains, minimizing the effects of mental fatigue from the rigorous brain exercises, while walking down a city street did not provide the same benefits. Researchers in California were interested in determining whether more or less beautiful natural images would promote different levels of sharing and generosity in participants. Viewing scenes of nature deemed more beautiful caused an increase in positive feelings, which in turn increased the number of times participants participants shared and cooperated in a series of games. But I'm sure none of this is news to you. You've probably taken a lunchtime walk outside to escape a stressful day at work or school. You may have noticed that hiking in an especially picturesque park makes you feel closer to the friends and loved ones with whom you share the scene. And while you may have never intentionally stuck your hand in a bowl of ice water while intently staring at a house plant, you may still recognize the restorative effects of including green spaces in your life. With all of these benefits in mind, it's important important for us to consider how we do or do not make an effort to include green spaces and living things in our everyday lives. How can we use our knowledge of biophilia to rein in our sprint away from the environment and bring our society a little closer to the life and lifelike processes that so enrich our lives? I start every day by looking out the window at a tree. What about you? Links and citations for all of the research sources I used will be down in the description. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it. If you didn't like this video, please share it with someone who would. And if you'd like to support The Roving Naturalist, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon, as well as following us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.